everybody. Um, you may have seen the last mix I put together. I kind of like that one. What do you think? That was me romanticizing back when I was doing clubs and bars when I was younger and the type of music that, that I played. And there was a variety of music back then. And a lot of it, there was a lot of melody and harmony that we just don't have now. And I'm not stuck in that decade, but I still love it. And uh, I was working on part two of that mix, and I got to thinking it'd be kind of a cool video for some of you who don't know how to do edits and remixes and things like that. If you noticed in that mix, I had a lot of mashups, tons of edits, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it, just cutting it up. And it got me thinking, songs are kind of like puzzles, really, when you're editing and remixing. There are a lot of pieces, and there really are no rules, but the better your edits and the better your, uh, your splices and extensions and things like that, the cooler the song's gonna sound. So I thought I would, just for fun, take you through an edit and show you the pieces of the puzzle and how you can put it all together. And then maybe some of the uh, obstacles you run into and how to overcome them. I hope you can see this okay. This is Mixmeister Pro 6. This is the software I like to use. And the reason I like to use it is because it has a really great visual representation of the music. You can see these squiggly uh, things up and down here. That's actually the music. Sorry, I hiccuped. Now, another cool thing about it, if you look at this, and I use my finger to show you, gray represents the one. Two, three, four. Gray, two, three, four. Gray, two, three, four. And I don't know if you can see it on this camera or not, but there are dotted black lines separating four bars. So, one, two, three, four. Little line. Gray two three four little line gray two three four. It's cool software. Uh, so here, this is a black box. Strike it up. I did a little edit, and I'm going to play it for you right now. Then I'm going to show you how I did the edit. I came in toward the end of the song, and what I wanted to do is go back to the beginning of the song. And this is how I did it. right here. That took me back to the beginning. So here, let's do this. Let's take a fresh version of this song, unedited, and cut it up. Okay, so here we have the raw song, unedited, untouched. Now, in my mix, I wanted to come in kind of toward the end of the song, and it was over here. Uh, about here, right there, is where I went, where I came in. You can hear a little bit of where he says dance, but that didn't bother me. I kind of thought it was cool. So what you can do in Mixmeister Pro 6 is position your cursor where you want to split a track and press S. What is split? You'll see in a minute. It's pretty cool. It allows you to copy and paste stuff when you split segments. Okay, so where did we come out? Let's give it a listen. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Right there is where we wanted to come out. So I can press the S key again, and here I have a split segment. I can now copy this and put it somewhere else. Well, where do I want to put it? I want to put it at the beginning of this track. Let's see where that might be. I think it's right here. Right there where it says, yeah. That's where I want to put that. So I can split here, just for point of reference. Okay? Now, since I copied the other track, I can press Control-V in Mixmeister, and it pastes in the segment that I split up, and I copied. So now, let's give everything a listen that we just did. We, let's put the cursor right where we uh, came in with the new segment, right here. So let's give it a listen. Start counting bars. One, two, three, four. 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 Two, two, three. 
four, four, two, three, four. Okay, did you hear that? She said, strike it, then it went into yeah, and I don't like that. Here, listen. That's sloppy. So this last bit right here isn't right. So what we need to do, see we have gray, two, three, four, this four bar measure here. Split that, now let's delete it, let's get rid of it. And all we gotta do is cut it. All right, now if you listen, it isn't right because there's gonna be something missing. You'll hear it right away, check it out. Four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Yeah. We're missing four, two, three, four because we cut it out. So what we can do is we can go back into here. Let's find the bit that we need somewhere else in the song. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. It's this bit right here we need. So let's split it at the beginning and split it at the end. Copy it. Go back to where we were at the beginning of this mix. Let's see here. needs to be right there. Control V and Mixmeister again is paste. So now let's listen to our intro and see what it sounds like. And we'll count it off as soon as the drums are over here. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three. Four, four, two, three, four. So there's a quick little tutorial for you. Your software is going to be different. Uh, apply these techniques to your software as far as how you cut your song up. I'm not familiar with too many other software packages, so I can't help you on too much else. But that's Mixmeister Pro 6. Not available anymore, unfortunately. They moved on to Fusion, which does not have the bar visual representation that Pro 6 has, and that's why I like to use Pro 6, and it still hasn't done me wrong. I, you can mix live with it, you can do all kinds of stuff, or you can really spend some time with it and, uh, you know, make some cool edits. Now, if you go to MixingOnBeat.com, there's a guy there named DJ Andre and several other people there who are masters of this program. They can do what I did on the fly. They are so good. I'm not that fast with it. I have to take my time and do things. But uh, there you go. Quick little toot for you. Apply this to whatever software you're using. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. Practice and enjoy.